What's up, YouTube? We are figures coming back at you with another review. Same style, still trying to figure this whole thing out. This time, it's of the Acid Rain Omega Military Phantom Team B, Par Parhelion, and Aurora. Now, if you didn't watch the my last video, no, no, go ahead and check it out, anyways, and then come back to this one. It's going to be pretty much the same thing, just showing off different weapons and uh, different head sculpts. Um, so first, let me go ahead and get it out the way. The box art, this right here, you know, it says Acid Rain. The last line of defense, Omangan Military, Phantom Team B, uh, Perhelion, and Aurora. And here they are. You see one that looks like the Ram, that would be Aurora, and the other one is an Elk, Perhelion, Perhelion. And just like the last one, it comes with two figures, and it comes with the diorama set. This one actually has writing on it. It says, Free at Last Brother. Um, everything is the same. It still did not come with any Wounded Soldier parts, so I don't think I'm going to get them. But anyways, there's enough. There's all the side artwork. We'll get that out the way. You guys didn't come to see a review about a box, but that's what it looks like. So let me go ahead and just get straight into what these figures actually look like because like I said the articulation we'll go ahead and angle this down a bit the articulation is pretty much the same all the way around um, head sculpt on Aurora oops and I'm off camera again please pardon me I will get it right eventually and you can see it has awesome detailing and the paintwork is phenomenal as always with acid rain figures and it's going to resemble a ram. Pretty dope. There's the bottom peg hole, if anyone was interested in seeing that. And this gas mask actually is different from the other four. The other, or I'm sorry, the other three. The other three characters are, they kind of resemble the same uh, gas mask as it is. Let me go ahead and grab Parhelion. And show you the elk head if I can get out of the light. And it looks pretty dope. The coloring, you know, the weathering actually looks like bone, like he did just skin an elk and dehorned him. There's the bottom pickle if anyone was wondering. Um, so, yeah, so, so the figures, they still both have the same ghillie suit and they sport the same exact. Um, body body mold. Let me remove the flamethrower pack. I will get to that in just a second. Just in case any, nobody watched the last review, I don't blame anyone. But um, the articulation, and we're going to go headless for this whole show for right here. So the arms will go all the way up. The elbows, there is a bicep swivel. And it, or actually, yes, there is a bicep swivel. I'm sorry. The arms will go up all the way. I don't want to rip the ghillie suit, but I'm pretty sure they would make a full 360. Um, the arms go up, and they do bend at the elbow a very nice amount. The wrists also swivel, and they do hinge you know, uh, up and down. The ab articulation, excuse me, a little brain fart there. The ab articulation is works nice, and it will, it will lean forward quite a bit. Backwards, not so much. And it does rotate as well. The legs, the legs, they will kick up really high. Get him to do the can-can real quick. You see, they will kick up really high. Double-jointed knees. Sounds and looks amazing. There's also an upper thigh rotation, as you can see right there. There is the ankle cut. Oops, there it goes. The ankle cut. And that does, you know, rotate side to side. That does have the ankle hinge. And if I can not get it to rotate, it does have ankle pivot. So you can get all those fantastic dynamic poses that this articulated figure was meant to do. Now, now that we got the articulation knocked out of the way, and then we looked at the head sculpts already, we will go ahead and look at the accessories. So they do each come with one weapon. In this set, the other guys came with a little bit more weapons, Phantom Team A. But... So um, Aurora 
comes equipped with the flamethrower. And much like all the other weapons that these guys uh, have, they do plug into the back. I'll go ahead and flip this up. And as you can tell, this has the peg to go in the back. So this it will go ahead and, and just flip over his head right there. And I'm going to try to attempt to do this on camera best of my abilities. And it will go ahead and plug right into the back. See, that looks pretty nice. And then also, actually, you know what? I didn't even get that, that plugged in. How the heck did I do it? There we go. All right, so plugged into the back. Looks nice. And then this actually has a slot. Let me see if I can... Right there. Has a slot into it. And then there is a little peg that this will just peg right in. And he can go ahead and holster his flamethrower. Now, why, why have a ghillie suit if you don't want to be seen and have a flamethrower as your primary? Who knows? It may, maybe it's not as primary. Maybe that's just what it's packed with. All the weapons are interchangeable. I have... Oops. And I just got it caught on his suit. I have a rifle from a Soul Commander. And all the weapons are compatible with each other and all the figures, so... And they just knocked his head right clean off. You go ahead and readjust that. And place the head back on. There we go. Bam. So you see he can hold all the other weapons. The, unfortunately, these older older style weapons do not have the peg to be able to clip onto the back. But um so that was Aurora. And he is not going to stand up because he's... The way that they made the feet look... I'm going to show you guys real quick. If, I can, if I'll put the figure on camera. You know, that might help. So, you see how the figure... The toes... Oops, focus. The toes point up on, on this one in the new bucks. On the old figures, they're more flat-footed. And they'll actually... You know, they actually stand up a little bit better on their own. Without having to, um, you know, uh, <laughs> blah, 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 without having to lean too far forward or lean too far back to kind of counter the balance of the figures, but so there's um, so yeah, so that that's probably my only gripe about these figures. I mean, the articulation is, although it's the same, all the way around, like they're 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 all fully articulated, but I do like like the elbows on uh, these figures more on the newer style. Uh, body molds than I do on the old ones. Let me see. I'll show you. Let me unholster them. As you can tell, right there, they're just like they're pegged in. They're pegged in with the hinge. So, I mean, they... If it'll pop out, I hope I don't break it. I'm actually going to not force it. But uh, it's just, it's just a, pe a peg straight in. It gets the job done. The articulation is there, but uh, it just—it's more smoother on the newer figures, and it just—I think it looks a little bit better. So this one is Perhelion, and he is the elk, the elk head sculpt. Now he comes equipped with this massive sniper rifle. As you can see, I had him posed up, I'm trying to Im imitate the the box art and how they were posed, just with my own, you know, added background. But, um, so the weapon, and I'll go over his head sculpt a little bit. I'll just showcase it off a little bit more. I already went over it, but I just can't stop, you know, being amazed at how nice these head sculpts are. But, um, so the weapon, weapon is this monstrous sniper rifle, and it almost resembles the SMG from, from the uh, Phantom Team A set from that would be Eclipse. And um, it has the gimmick here where you see that there is the pegs, or the holes, I'm sorry, the holes right here, and there's a peg. And it folds, collapses in on itself to be pretty much just a, just a regular old rifle. and doesn't have that extended barrel. The only trouble with that is, is um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get him to hold it decently. Because, I mean, without having to stretch open... 
the fingers or the hands too much. I mean, it's still, it would look decent, say, if it was posed this way, so that way you can't see the actual hinge on the gun, which actually wouldn't be too bad. But, um, go ahead and straighten this guy out. And I will go ahead and do some figure comparisons, just like I did in the last review with, uh, with some G.I. Joes. And I'll go ahead and I am losing just pieces of this ghillie suit. And then that's another complaint I have with these figures is that although they look nice and they look kind of creepy and they are cloth. So, I mean, I guess you can't really argue too much with that, that they're including cloth with the, with figures, you know, but I mean, with the price point there, I would, I would rather have some extra weapons than, uh, than the ghillies, but, uh, so get him to stand straight up possibly. And he doesn't, there we go. All right. So I have a fellow acid rain figure, Bob. You can go ahead and send him. Yeah. That scales very well. And then I have the Cobra commander from, I forget which line it is, which uh, line this one came from. I want to say the 25th anniversary line. But I'm not 100% sure. He doesn't have any ankle articulation, so that's kind of frustrating. So there he is. That, that looks pretty decent. And then I have this 144 scale uh, Gundam kit. This is a GBN guard frame from Build Fighters Dive. And uh, I actually really like this. I, I built this kit a while ago. And I had planned on taking some, doing some crossover shots because these look like they could be some pretty decent looking um, droids. Because I mean, this this storyline, this whole arc of uh, Acid Rain, some of the the figures are not not so much cybernetic, but they are robot esque, and um, they all have vehicles that transform as well. That would be in a that'll probably be a video all on its own. I don't actually own any right now because they are crazy expensive. But I do own some of the the smaller lines, the one in, I believe they're one in, I'm sorry, they're one, one twenty eighth scale, if I could say that properly. Um, I do have a couple of those. It's the Acid Rain B25 line. And uh, yeah, I forget, after some feedback and stuff, I'll probably review some of those as well, because I've got a, I got a bunch of them and I really enjoy that line. And uh, I really enjoy like the smaller scale size figures. I do have a ton a lot of legends marvel legends and some imports and stuff but I, I do like the minifigures as well and oh you know and i just remembered oh my goodness i feel like i'm in a rush and i don't know why but the last accessory is the rock and it says free at last brother so this like the the first one this one doesn't have blood on it and it is flat at the bottom but this one you know can be placed in different positions, you know, as B, if you want to set it up in different, different, uh, dioramas or different areas to be able to be posed. So, yeah, so, so that was my review. Quick little review, I guess we're going on about 15 minutes now. Quick or not jumbled, I'm sure all over the place. Hell yeah. So do me a favor and go ahead and like comment or subscribe. To my channel uh, dislike it if you didn't like the video let me know in the comments what i could do better what you, what you would like to see what fit what action figures would you like to see i know there's there's not many reviews of um of the, these these types of toys out there so this is kind of why i wanted to start doing these ones this is why i made these two videos first of the acid rain figures but um if you haven't already go ahead and check out my instagram i'll put a link to that below if it's not already on the YouTube channel itself, and I'm picking up ghillie suit pieces everywhere, all over my table. But uh, yeah, so if you haven't already, check me out on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification, and it'll let you know when I'm going to be posting another video, or when I do post another video. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Hit that thumbs up again. I know I'm repeating myself again because I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll get it down eventually. Give me a couple videos. 
Um, remember to always open your toys and keep collecting. All right, later.